Our state, South Carolina, is facing criticism for the slow rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine. And now lawmakers are getting involved, trying to find out how to speed things up. News 2's Raymond Owens was there as freshman Congresswoman Nancy Mays toured a COVID-19 vaccine clinic in Mount Pleasant. And he's live at East Cooper Medical Pavilion. Raymond, very busy day for the new Congresswoman. It is, and she said she really wanted to come out here and tour the, the clinic herself just to see kind of how the process is working and what she might be able to do to speed it up. South Carolina, for some reason, is behind, lagging behind other states in the ratio of vaccinations per 100,000 in the population. I've joined my colleagues in the federal delegation to ask those questions from the CDC and how we can get more doses for our citizens and our residents here in South Carolina. Right now, MUSC is vaccinating about 3,000 people per day with the current phase of first responders and people 70 and older. If at MUSC we start to see things uh, go down, we'll probably begin to go to that next group. We'll be asking uh, DHEC and the governor to open up to the next group. A number of people are getting appointments, but they're as far out as March or April sometimes. You can still get scheduled sooner than that. We're encouraging anyone that got one of those later appointments to go back into the system. There are people canceling, there are people, you know, re rescheduling. And if you go back into the system, for the most part, I think you can find an appointment in the next week if you wanted it. Mace tells me there are several things she believes she can do to help get more vaccines on the way to South Carolina. So the first thing that we need to do is one, be assured by the federal government, the CDC, and I've reached out to the CDC and we'll be reaching out to the Biden administration to ensure that South Carolina gets caught up with the number of doses that we should have based on our population size. That's number one. Number two, we also need to look at the regulations that are inhibiting us as a state from getting doses out to more people. Now, May says state regulations have prevented some organizations or some groups like pharmacies from being able to administer vaccines quickly. And she said that needs to change as well on the state level. Live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.